Andrew Rube Foster was born on September 17, 1879, and he was an American baseball player, manager, and executive in the Negro Leagues. He was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981, and Mr. Foster considered by historians to have been perhaps the best African-American pitcher of the first decade of the 1900s. He also founded and managed the Chicago American Giants, one of the most successful black baseball teams of the pre-integration era. Most notably, he organized the Negro National League, the first long-lasting professional league for African-American ballplayers which operated from 1920 to 1931. He is known as the father of black baseball, and Mr. Foster adopted his longtime nickname Rube as his official middle name later in life. So that was just the beginning intro, now we're going to get more into it. Andrew Rube Foster was born on September 17, 1879 in Calvert, Texas, and he was an American baseball player who gained fame as a pitcher, manager, and owner as the father of black baseball. After founding in 1920 the Negro National League, the first successful professional league for African American ball players. Mr. Foster dropped out of school after the 8th grade and by the age of 18 he had begun playing semi-professional baseball in Texas for the Waco Yellow Jackets. And in 1902 he joined Frank Leland's Chicago Union Giants but soon left to play in the integrated semi-professional league in Michigan. Standing 6 feet 4 inches tall, the large right-hander first made his mark on the game in 1903 as a pitcher for the Cuban ex-Giants, winning four games of a seven-game series against the Philadelphia Giants in the color championship of the world. The next year, as a member of the Philadelphia Giants, Mr. Foster earned his nickname by outdueling the great Rube Waddell in a game against the Philadelphia Athletics of the American League. And in 1905, he totaled 51 victories out of 55 games played. A dispute over money with the Philadelphia Giants led to Mr. Foster's return to Chicago and the Leland Giants in 1907. As both star pitcher and manager, he guided the team to 110 wins and 10 losses record that year. His style as a manager was no different from his style as a player, aggressive and intimidating. He was an innovative strategist and his team members were renowned for their bunting and base running, especially the hit and run, in which the batter signaled to hit a pitch regardless of its location and the base runner on first base begins running before the pitch is released. And in 1910, Foster acquired ownership of the Leland Giants and guided the squad to 123 wins and 6 losses record. As you can see, he was a speed top guy. When he managed, he wanted to speed the game up. That's why they did a lot of hit and runs. They bunt, they stole bags. This guy sped the game up on teams and they didn't know how to defend that. The next year, he joined with businessman John Shorling, his son-in-law of Charles Comiskey, to form the Chicago American Giants. The American Giants, led by Mr. Foster as a player, manager, and owner, played at Southside Park and became one of the greatest teams in the history of black baseball, winning Negro League championships in 1914, 1915, and 1917. And in Kansas City, Missouri in 1920, Foster met with seven other owners of African American baseball clubs for the purpose of establishing the Negro National League. Although previous attempts to establish a league for black ballplayers and fans had failed, the Negro National League thrived under Mr. Foster's guidance. As chief executive of the Negro National League, he curtailed the excessive trading of players to establish some parity of talent between the clubs. His dictator approach frequently enraged his fellow owners. Despite his sacrifice of personal income to aid players and clubs with financial problems, and in 1926, the strain of his work began to affect his mental health, and he was placed in a mental hospital in Kankakee, Illinois, where he died four years later. And Mr. Foster was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981. So I wanted to share his story because he was a very, very important piece of the Negro League's history. He created the Negro National League, and that was one of the most premier leagues in this time. And he guided it and he was successful. And so I wanted to share that story because I was fascinated by Mr. Rube Foster. He's someone that 
not many people talk about and he was he was basically the orchestrator and that's a very important person in history and so i wanted to talk about him just because of him being a um, orchestrator and then i also didn't know that he was also a very successful pitcher probably the best pitcher in the first part of the decade so um, I wanted to share his story and uh, I hope you guys think this is cool. Let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button if you like this. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis. And so far I've been posting every day during Black History Month. One player a day. And so tomorrow I'm going to post another video. So I appreciate you for watching. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video.